Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to solve this differential equation, and notice that this is just going to be the fourth derivative, all right? This is just another notation for the fourth derivative, so they use the i phi, okay? But anyways, you know this is the linear differential equation with constant coefficients, so you can just go ahead and change the fourth derivative into r to the fourth power, and then plus 2 r squared, and then for the original, it has no r, so it's just plus 1, and this is equal to 0. Our job right now is to solve for r, and we will see what do we get from there, right? Well, this is a trinomial, and in fact, can still factor it. I will factor it for you guys. I'll show you guys with the take out of factoring real quick, okay? To get r to the fourth power, I need to have r squared and r squared, and to get 1, I need to have 1 and 1. And you see, r squared times 1 is r squared, and 1 times this r squared is r squared r squared plus r squared it is 2r squared, so we know this is the correct combination. And the factor is going to be r squared plus 1, and then multiply by r squared plus 1, okay? In another word, you know this is r squared plus 1 squared, okay? Something like this. Anyways, all you care about is just r squared plus 1 to be 0, and of course, from here you can just get r squared is equal to negative 1, and then you take the square root both sides, and usual business, right? Cancel this out, just to be cute. Anyways, r is equal to plus minus i, right? However, remember, look at this, or look at this, whichever one, up to you. Whatever this r is, it's been repeated, so let me just tell you guys that. This is a repeated and since we have the i, so it's a complex root, all right? And this is how you're going to construct your answer. First of all, just ignore the fact that it's being repeated. And another thing that you should know is, because this is the first order, f the fourth order, okay? Fourth order, uh, you should expect to have four constants, okay? Keep that in mind. Anyways, uh, I can tell you guys what the answer is already, though. y of t, okay? Ignore the fact that it's repeated complex root, okay? Based on the fact that you have just r equals to plus minus i, you know the alpha is 0. Let me just, just put that down. Alpha is equal to 0, and then you have the beta is equal to 1, okay? So remember, the building blocks for the general solution is e to the alpha t times cosine of beta t Right? And then also you have another one for the sine. But anyways, because the alpha is equal to 0, that means e to the 0t is just going to be 1. So we wouldn't have any e to the whatever, all right? We will just have sine and cosine, beta t. Okay, so let me just put down this one for you guys. First one, cosine of beta, which is just 1. So 1t, one let me just write it down as t. And the next one is going to be sine of beta, which is 1, and then t. Okay? These are the building blocks to the general solution to that. And you know you have to attach the C1, C2, add them up. All right? And this is it. Okay? This is it if you ignore the fact that the, this R was being repeated. But the fact is that it is repeated, right? And you see, we only have two Cs at the moment. Well, just like the deals that we have done in the past, whenever we have a repeated root, we pretty much have the same thing, and we multiply by a t to make them linearly independent, right? So the next building block is going to be still cosine of alpha, sorry, cosine of beta t. Let me just put this down right here. Cosine of beta, which is 1, and then t, okay? But this would be the same as, well, this would be linearly dependent as that. Once again, I will just have to multiply by t right here to make them linearly independent, okay? So this is going to be the third building block for the general solution for that. And now I will just multiply this with C3 and add them up. And you know the deal. At the end, I will just put on plus C4. And then we need to have a T right here and a sign of beta T, which is 1T. So it's just T like this. This is definitely not bad at all, right? You just have to make sure you have to ha multiply the T as many times as you need to and be sure you have all this like that. Anyways, that's it.